Hi, my name is Jennifer Faulkner, training coordinator here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we will go over how to use configurators. The configurator is a powerful tool that simplifies the quoting process by eliminating the need to memorize or look up product options and relationships. It allows a salesperson to conduct a simple or grouped configuration on the fly by following a series of pre-configured prompts that will guide them through the necessary steps. To learn how to actually create configurations in QuoteWorks, please check out the Intermediate and Advanced Configurator tutorials instead. There are two types of configurations in QuoteWorks, grouped and simple configuration. A grouped configuration is a group of items under a single heading line. The prices for the individual items are broken out next to each item, and the total price will show under its heading. A simple configuration is just individual items that have no relation to one another. It would be the same as adding a product from the product lookup window. The configurator can be accessed under Products, Configurator, or it can be accessed from the standard toolbar by clicking on the configurator icon. Your current configurations will be listed on this window here. By default, the Show All option will be selected, but if you have a large amount of configurations, you are able to search for them by its name, description, or notes. This window gives you the option to clone an existing configuration, create a new configuration, edit or delete a configuration as well. For now, we just want to test using a configuration, so we will select Entertainment System. This comes with your QuoteWorks installation. Double click the configuration or select Start. There are a few things to take note on this window. On the top of the window, it displays the name of the configuration. The Available item section will display the step that you are currently on and the minimum and maximum amount of items to select. This section will show you the items that are currently available to select from for this step. The window below this window will display the full description of the item that is currently selected. Then at the very bottom of the window, we will see instructions for the current step that we are on. For this specific configuration, it is asking for us to select the type of TV we want for our entertainment system. We will have the option of selecting a plasma, HDTV, or pure flat. I can select the type of TV my customer wants, then click add, or I can double click the item which will automatically take me to the next step. If the sales rep tries to go over the maximum or not reach the minimum for that specific step, it will give them an error and will not allow them to move forward until they have adjusted. As we move to the next step, take note that the name changed at the top to plasma and the instructions changed as well. Now it is asking for us to select which plasma we want. I will click on the specific plasma that my customer wants, add and move forward to the next step. Notice on the right hand side is where you can see the current items in your configuration. This step allows me to select up to five items but also doesn't have a minimum. So if this customer didn't want any accessories, then they are able to skip this step if need be. For this example, I'm going to select the wall mount and controller. Step four tells us that we can select up to one receiver, but we are able to skip this step if we want. Notice if we have an item with a picture, then it will display at the bottom box next to the instructions. For my example, I will select the Denon receiver. The next step allows us to pick up to 10 items, but once again, this step is optional. I will go ahead and select a couple speakers. Let's say, for example, you needed to add another speaker to this configuration on the fly. You are able to select Find Other Item. The product lookup window will appear, and you will be able to add to this specific configuration without getting out of the configuration. Be mindful that this is just for the specific instance, and that product or service will not be added to this configuration moving forward. This setting is also able to be turned on and off if you did not want your sales rep to have the ability to add products to a configuration. Step six is asking for us to select a wiring package. For this example, let's say the customer didn't need a wiring package. We simply just have to click on next step. Be mindful that you can only skip a step if that step is optional. Now that we have finished, we can add this configuration to the quote workbook. When adding the configuration to a quote, we have a couple different options. If you wanted, we could add the configuration under an existing header or section header, or we can create a new header or section header to add it under. The finish button has two different options when clicking the arrow. You are able to add or insert this configuration to the quote. 
Adding it to a quote will add it to the bottom of the quote and will place the configuration below any item that may be currently on the quote workbook. Inserting it to the quote will insert the item at the top of the page above any pre-existing items on that quote. Once you go to add your configuration to the quote, it will ask you to select the quantity. If you are setting the quantity for a group configuration, the quantity would show only on the heading line and not the individual items. If you adjust the quantity of a simple bundle, the quantity of the individual items will be affected. I can tell this configuration is a group configuration due to the yellow highlighting and the heading line with the configuration subtotal. A simple configuration will just display like normal items added to a quote as if you added them separately. As you can see, the configurator is a powerful tool that simplifies the quoting process. It is an easy way to save time and help eliminate errors on a quote. Once again, please check out the Intermediate and Advanced Configurator tutorial to learn how to actually create simple and group configurations in QuoteWorks. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact our tech support team at 407-248-1481 extension 3 or email support directly at support at quoteworks.com. Thank you for watching.